But what I do want to say about the Central Missouri Group is that they've been putting on an annual film festival for the last many years. Um, Mike can tell you a little more about that perhaps. But it's grown in scope and it's really become a major community event. I think the last year it drew 500 or more people. And it's not just films about international locations, it's music, it's dance, it's sharing the cultures of everywhere that Feast Corps people have been in the, from the Missouri area. Mike, I have, I have two things for you. Sam Bits Cano. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks, Dwan. Great to see you. I uh, just wanted to feel more comfortable and know there were some Mongolia RPCVs out there. Uh, first, just a big thank you to the MPCA and, and everyone who was involved in putting this together because it's been awesome. This is my first um, conference in our Peace Corps Connect, and it's, it's been a great connection. You know, I met some amazing people, so just give them a hand. It's been awesome. And uh, you know, it's an honor to receive this on behalf of our group. We, we are um, deeply humbled um, and you know, it's just oh, I, I'm surprised. So um, we really appreciate that. Uh, much like fostering, or much like our Peace Corps service, the most rewarding part of our festival is actually fostering personal connections. Ulrich Brown, some of you may know him. He's a RPCB in Ivory Coast and director of the award-winning film, Kin Rwanda. Uh, was uh, spoke to a group of students uh, as part of our 2013 film festival. And the mother of one of those students came to the film festival the next day and drove a little ways to get there just to personally thank Ulrich for reaching her daughter in a powerful and life-changing way. And she said, I quote, your presentation at Westminster touched my daughter deeply. She never says much about what she is learning, but she came back from your presentation and said that after hearing you speak, she now has purpose and direction in life. Hopefully she's applied for the Peace Corps by now. <laughs> One of several attendees from Rwanda who came to see his film also said, I know those places, Ulrich did a great job communicating my story. For the last four years, we've had the good fortune to bring a filmmaker to enhance the dialogue about and deepen public understanding of the places we all learn to call home. It's truly a community effort with a team of RPCV spanning five decades, um, and who promote the event, cook empanadas, ground nut soup, and other delicious international dishes to share, help locate host country nationals to speak on panels, and offer their own perspectives and then relate their Peace Corps experiences speaking after the films. And in the spirit of a true Peace Corps project, its success really hinges on community partnerships, and uh, we're blessed to have many of those. We aspire to grow our third goal efforts, especially through the annual film festival, and to collaborate with other groups, uh, hopefully some of you guys out there, uh, to potentially host similar events. I know there's some that are already going on uh, and possibly create a touring film festival um, that is packaged and that we all agree on and can go from city to city. Uh, and again, I just want to thank you and uh, we are deeply honored and uh, have a great rest of your day. And we, last minute we decided to show this trailer of a great film. We brought Ashley Tyndall. She's the director of 27 Months. She has finished shooting the film. Um, she is in the process of editing. So we can see, we have postcards here. Um, it chronicles uh, a Peace Corps journey from the beginning to end and all throughout. And she's not an RPCV, uh, so I think she has an interesting perspective to bring. Now one of the, one of the other um, the shooters, uh, Claire Major, was an RPCV uh, in Senegal, and she's also very involved in this project. And it will be finished sometime uh, this July, possibly sooner, or with your support. Um, so here is the trailer for 27 months. Hi, Mom. Guess what? I got a call from the placement, and she's sending me an invitation. And I'm not sure where yet. I'm probably like 80% sure it might be the Philippines, but don't hold me to it. So this is from the White House. It says, Dear Peace Corps, Invitee, congratulations on your selection as a Peace Corps volunteer. 
That's cool. Nice. Your assignment highlighted in pink here, Liberia. Oh my god! Nice I like the challenge. I go crazy if I'm sitting around. Now I feel like I have something to do, and I feel like, sweet, let's go. I loved my life. I loved my personal life. I loved my job. I was really happy, <laughs> but it wasn't enough. It's kind of like what I call my one shot because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in 20 years. sort of misconceptions about other cultures, about life outside America. Because I always wanted to travel, I do want to go to other countries and see what's out there. Every day I feel really grateful to be here. Not, not a whole lot of people can pack up and leave and quit their jobs and be able to do the Peace Corps.